Maniacs. Bio import. Maniacs. Uh, to fill up the number of cups you want, three ounce cups, uh, that's if you just want steam. And if you want cappuccino, you fill it up to there and then add some more water for steam, like up to the top of the band. The boiling water never goes through the grounds. The uh, steam builds up and then it, the steam uh, the steam fills the steam pressure comes through the coffee grounds and then condenses so the steam is es expressed out which in Italian is espresso tighten that down pretty good um, you can turn that on now and while it's heating up you can fill up your coffee and you don't have a like a fancy coffee uh, <clears throat> work area. It can leave a little mess. So put the towel. This coffee is a little bit too big of a ground of a grind for espresso, but it'll work. Actually, we'll just do this. So much uh, yeah. Oh, and there's marks inside of here. Yeah. See the two and four marks that match how much you'll get? But basically you fill it to the top if you want a full... Yeah. And the normal espresso ground is pretty fine and you have to tamp it down. Then you clean the edge so you get a good seal. The basket goes in here. And this starts up front ways like like, here we go, and then just crank that down. That's it, and then you just wait. So for the milk, uh, you, you don't want to start steaming until the espresso is mostly done, because that reduces the back pressure on here. So when your coffee, when you're almost done with your coffee, there'll be some leftover steam pressure in here, which you then use for your milk. And the milk can be any kind you want. Uh, the froth comes from the protein. Mm -hmm. Contrary to what uh, different people say, it does not matter if it's skim milk or anything like that. In fact, in Australia, they spent uh, in places like that that have big dairy. Okay, we're ready now for steam, so you need a, a pad, check your steam, so that's good, and this it doesn't take much, and for this, you, you get this right at the edge, and you form a, and you get it right under the surface, and you can hear the difference, if it's too deep, you get that, if it's too high, it splashes all over the place. So you want the steam to come in right at the edge. You can see how it, it's already doubled in volume. You want it to come in right at the edge. And we're actually out of steam pressure, so... Eh, could be better. Like, that's not bad, though. And turn off. Mm -hmm. And you have to wait for this to cool before you can release anything. So what I usually do is just turn that on just a little bit and right away take your sponge or whatever clean that off right away otherwise it gets crusted up and it's harder to clean later. We probably could have put a little more water in there um, to get a little more steam. So I put about that much milk in maybe and it's up to here now. So you're good to go. Bio import. Maniacs. Bio import. Maniacs.